when, uh, when completing synthetic division, all right, there's a couple important points that we guys need to make sure we have. First of all, our divisor has to be in the form of x minus k. Okay? It has to be a linear factor, what we're going to call it. We're going to learn more about synthetic division and the parts of synthetic division. For right now, the only thing I want you guys to understand is it has to be in the form of x minus k. You cannot have x squared at all. It has to be linear, meaning only the variable has a degree of 1. Okay? Yes? No, no x squared at all. No squared. It has to be linear. 2x is fine, as long as your a x has a degree of 1. Okay? But if it was 2x, then we wouldn't be using synthetic division because it wouldn't be a factor. It has to be a binomial linear factor. x plus 2, 2x minus 1. Binomial factor, okay? Because if it was just 2x, we'd use the monomial division that we did for number 5, right? We do that, we use that method. All right, so in synthetic division, the main important thing is that you have it as a binomial factor. So what you're going to do to figure out, you're going to take your binomial factor, x minus k, and set it equal to 0. And we'll just start with that for right now. So if I do x minus 2 equals 0, I'm going to say x equals 2. And that's going to be our version of k, which we're going to write. So we're going to take, we're going to write 2 on the outside, and we're going to make a little L-shaped box. And like I said, right now I'm not going to get in deep into the synthetic division, why we do this. I just want you guys to kind of write down the process and follow along. And once we talk more about zeros and kind of stuff like that, we'll learn more how synthetic division is going to help us out. Right now we're just learning the process. So I'll explain a lot more why we're going to do and how we're going to do things in a second. Just want you guys to be writing down the process. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take each coefficient of our terms and write them in in kind of like a, an invisible column. So our first term, our first coefficient is 3. We're always going to start with the leading term and make sure you go in descending order. If you are missing a term, like say there was no 11x, then you'd put a 0 there. Or sorry, a 0x. If there was no term there, you would put a 0. But we do have an x. We have an 11x. All right. All I'm saying is, if it, so you do 3, negative 8, 11, and negative 14. So you take all the coefficients and the constant, and you make sure you list them in their descending order from their polynomial. All right. If you did not have a term, you would put a 0 in there. Just saying you have to make sure you include every single degree from descending order. OK? We'll do a problem where, there is, where we're missing one. All right. So now the synthetic division algorithm goes like this. The first number, we like to sometimes say it's a freebie. So you just bring it directly down. So we get 3. Then what we do is you do 3 times 2. So the diagonals, you multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we vertically add. And this is why a lot of people like synthetic division, because there's no, we're not subtracting anymore. We're adding. So negative, well, adding the negative is kind of saying we're subtracting. But negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. Then multiply the diagonal. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Add. 11 plus negative 4 is positive 7. Multiply the diagonal. 7 times 2 is 14. Add the vertical. 0. Now we write our answer. The first answer, or the last answer that we have, is always our remainder. In this case, we have a remainder of 0. The next case is our constant. Then we have our linear, and then we have our quadratic. So our final answer is 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. Cool? Pretty easy, right? Remember, it's pretty basic compared to with our long division method. The difference is, ladies and gentlemen, you have to, you can only use this when you are dividing by your x minus k, when it's in that format, all right, when you can write it as a linear binomial. If it's not as a linear binomial, we cannot apply synthetic division. All right? So it's very important for you guys to know long and synthetic. Yes? So even if they're like 